This quick tutorial video will show the step-by-step -step actions required to download different types of logs from a Trimble display. After watching the best practices portion, feel free to skip the video ahead to the type of log you're interested in downloading. Logs allow engineering to see what is happening with Trimble equipment at the time of failure. Each equipment has a process for collecting logs. Note that sending logs is not a guarantee that the case will be escalated. Engineering may request a new log to increase log quality or to obtain additional information. Always remember to use the latest firmware. Clear any existing diagnostic or log memories before starting a new recording. Adjust the display clock to the correct time. Induce a failure during the log recording. Use a formatted USB drive that is inserted prior to downloading the log and to take a screenshot when the problem occurs. When the desired logs are captured, downloaded, and saved on a USB drive, be sure to reset all changes back to their original default values. Failure to do so could result in excessive display memory consumption. The following steps outlines the process to download GNSS logs. Begin by inserting a USB drive into the display. Prior to downloading Precision IQ logs, it is typically recommended that the display and receiver be rebooted. The reboot assures that the latest program log from the receiver is obtained by the display before the export occurs. Begin by inserting a USB drive into the display. After opening App Central, tap on the menu icon in the top left corner. Then tap on Support. For GNSS issues, select the period of time that contains the failure. The selection of 24 hours is a larger file and will take longer to copy to a USB drive. Tap Save to Storage. Find the USB drive by tapping on the menu icon in the top left corner. Tap Save and proceed to safely remove the USB drive. The following steps outline the process to download autopilot configuration logs. Begin by inserting a USB drive into the display. From the Precision IQ home screen, tap on the diagnostic icon. Then tap on the configuration button below the autopilot or easy pilot heading. At the top, tap on the advanced tab. Then tap on the Get Advanced Setup File button. To select the correct USB drive, tap on the Menu button in the top left corner. Then tap on the desired USB drive. Change the file name if desired and tap Save. Wait for the Transfer Complete dialog box to appear before safely removing the USB drive. The following steps outline the process to download performance logs. Begin by inserting a USB drive into the display. From the Precision IQ home screen, tap on the diagnostic icon. Then tap on the logging button below the system heading. At the top, tap on autopilot logging. Tap on the select DLC file button and tap on the option Select from Commonly Used DLC Files. If the machine is a CAN install, use the Performance Test CAN Valve option. Otherwise, if the machine is using Autopilot with an H3 or H4 valve, or if the machine is using Autopilot Motor Drive or EasyPilot Pro, use the Performance Test All Platforms option. Tap OK to continue. To begin the recording, tap on the record button. A timestamp and elapsed time of recording will appear. Navigate to the run screen and prompt the issue to occur. Return to the diagnostics page and tap on the recording button to stop the recording. Navigate to the home screen and tap on the data transfer button. Scroll down to the Diagnostics folder, 
check mark the autopilot logs file and then tap copy to send it to the USB drive. Larger files may take a few minutes to copy. Wait for the transfer complete dialog box to appear before safely removing the USB drive. The following steps outline the process to download CAN and serial VR logs. Begin by inserting a USB drive into the display. From the Precision IQ home screen, tap on the Settings button. Then tap on the Logging button found towards the bottom of the list on the left hand side. Then tap on VR Logging Level Selection. Adjust the logging from 3 to 8. It needs to be noted that logging levels should be restored to the default level of 3 once all logging tasks are completed. Failure to do so may result in excessive display memory consumption. Proceed to tap on the Diagnostics button and select the Logging tab found under the system heading. Then tap on CAN logs at the top of the page. Select the CAN ports that the equipment in question is connected to. If you are unsure which ports to select, select All Ports. Tap on the trash icon to erase any previously logged data. Disconnect the plug connecting the system to the Field IQ implement. Wait a minimum of 60 seconds with the plug disconnected. Then reconnect the cable and reproduce the issue during the data and log collection. Once the error has occurred while logging data, open App Central and tap on the menu icon in the top left corner. Then tap on Support. Tap Save to Storage. Find the USB drive by tapping on the menu icon in the top left corner. Tap Save and proceed to safely remove the USB drive. The following steps outline the process to download Autosync Verbose logs. Before the steps are described, it should be known that Autosync Verbose logging uses a large amount of memory. Systems that are already heavily loaded might be pushed over the edge with this logging enabled. Once the desired logs are captured, downloaded, and saved on a USB drive, be sure to reset all changes back to their original default values. Failure to do so could result in excessive display memory consumption. From the Precision IQ home screen, tap on the Settings button. Then tap on the Logging button found towards the bottom of the list on the left hand side. Tap on Enable Autosync Verbose Logging. After prompting the issue to occur while logging, turn the verbose logging off and proceed to download the log file. Once the error has occurred while logging data, open App Central and tap on the menu icon in the top left corner. Then tap on Support. Tap Save to Storage. Find the USB drive by tapping on the menu icon in the top left corner. Tap Save and proceed to safely remove the USB drive. Thank you for learning more about downloading logs.